everyone, welcome back. So in today's work vlog or a little video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this side piece to the breastplate of my um, cosplay and yeah and also how I glue the scales onto here as you can see these ones are painted these ones are not because they're brand new um yeah it's fairly simple and again it's all made out of craft foam so when it's placed it's going to look like so well maybe if I stand up so it's gonna look a little bit something like this, but I have to reshape everything once I get it together. So um, yeah, here's how it looks on the back part. Here is the bra strap, and then as you can see, the foam is around it, but it's still very bendable. And yeah, let's just uh, get on into how I did this. Okay, so for starters, here are my two pattern pieces that I made. They essentially sit like so with the top part overlapping the bottom part right there. And this would be where the cup of the bra is. Um, I use cardstock to make any patterns that I do have. And if I do print a pattern off the internet, I trace it onto cardstock just because it's bit thicker than regular paper and I feel like it holds a lot better and it's a bit more sturdier for um, tracing and everything like that. Okay so for making um, the pattern that I just showed you guys I first just took my bra and I put one side of it down and I traced the lower half of it um, so tracing around the bottom part of the cup and the whole entire strap. that part um, traced I just go where the cut part is and I make it a little bit deeper than what it actually is that way it fits a little bit better um, again this is kind of all first try and everything that I did and after that I went on and designed the bottom part and kind of um, how it's gonna look all right so I then used the leftovers after I cut out this pattern so after you cut out your first pattern, which looks nothing like my other one, um, I just took the leftovers and I made the strap part from that. And all I did essentially was just trace the top and bottom parts of the strap. And then I folded the strap under, placed the edge of the bra at the edge of the outline and then rounded it from there. And then you cut that out and you have your two pieces. All right, so um, the next step is I just trace the pattern on to the craft foam and cut it out as per usual. I just place the pattern pieces as close together as possible. That way I have um, extra craft foam that I can use for making the scales. And then just keep this leftover craft foam again to make the scales for the rest of the um, armor. Now to show you how I place it on the bra. This goes right here along the outer rim. And just want to line everything up like so and then this goes like this on the outer part and I'm gonna leave this like this because I need the clips visible so I can hook everything together for right now all right so um, 
I just apply it with hot glue. I started along the lower rim and then um, I glued it down and just went from there. However, I waited a little bit too long so the hot glue did dry up, which was also a good thing because it wasn't lined up or anything like that. So I was able to take off the craft foam and peel the chunks of hot glue that were along the rim and um, go ahead and re-glue it. of the strap I just want to let you guys know that um, I didn't realize this but when uh, gluing this down you take away the flexibility of the straps of the bra and when I went to put this on and try it on I realized that um, I actually ripped it because uh, the straps the strap wasn't flexible at all and I wasn't able to get it around my back and so I ended up ripping it and um, I still haven't found a solution to it yet but trust me I will let you guys know as soon as I do. to keeping the uh, two parts of the plates together. I just took a larger piece of craft foam, glued it down the center of the back, and then um, I flipped it over and filled in the gap because no one would see it from the front that I had this on the back. And yeah, I mean, you can totally mess up the back of a breastplate as much as you want because no one's going to see it, uh, just as long as the front looks pretty. And this was my solution, although it wasn't the best, but I will talk about that again in a later video. last gluing part of this and I don't want to make this too long and so the next video which should be uploaded right after this and I will have a link to it right here um, will be all about how I apply the scales and paint them and um, yeah it'll probably be shorter than this but I just didn't want to make this too long but if you guys do want longer videos as far as my cosplay videos are concerned just let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think so far of my chest plate um, I really like how it's coming along and like I said I will do some more update videos and everything like that as well so yeah thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys later